Let me show you how you can earn rewards by staking your FIS. Navigate to the Staffy portal. Our first step is to create or restore an account. If you do not have an account, you will need to create one or restore your existing account. To create a new account, click Add Account and follow the prompts. Make sure you save your mnemonic seed phrase. A JSON file will download automatically to the Downloads folder on your computer when you have created your account. Make sure that you save this file in a safe place. It is very important to save the JSON file and your mnemonic seed phrase in a safe place. It is the only way to restore your account, and there is absolutely no support or anyone to phone, email, or ask for lost details. Any FIS coins that you have in this account will be lost forever if you do not have the JSON file or the mnemonic seed phrase to access the account. Once your account has been created or restored, you can hover over Network and then click Staking. On this page you can see the commission rates of each validator. This is the fee that the validator charges, so if the validator charges 4%, that means that 96% of rewards are shared with nominators. Click Account Actions to go to the next step. Click Nominator to continue. It is recommended for the controller and stash account to be different, but it is okay if it's the same. Type the value that you want to bond. It is a good idea to only bond about 95% of your total FIS to keep some left over for fees. By clicking the drop-down arrow on Payment Destination, you can choose where you want your rewards to be paid. Click Next. Type the names of your favorite validators. You should nominate the validators you trust to be competent and honest. Staffy implements a slashing mechanism for validators. Your stake can also be slashed if you do not select your validators wisely. Staking for all supports the Polkadot ecosystem, and we operate multiple nodes on several Polkadot and Kasama-based projects. We have been with Polkadot and Kasama since its inception. You can choose several different validators to stake with. It is recommended to nominate a minimum of five different validators to ensure that your stake is always active. When you are finished choosing click Bond and Nominate. Type in your password, then click Sign and Submit. After submitting the transaction, you will wait a few seconds and see the green success message once it's completed on the blockchain. Once you submit your nominations you will notice that your stake is in a waiting state. It will become active in the new era. A new era starts every six hours. While your stake is in a waiting state, you will not be earning any rewards. After six hours you will see that your stake is now active. In most cases your stake will only be applied to one of the validators that you nominated at a time. Your stake may rotate between your nominated validators in the different eras. If you have very large FIS holdings it may be split automatically across more than one validator in the same era. Rewards are available to be claimed at the end of each era. However, whichever nominator collects first will trigger the payment for all nominators of the same validator. Therefore, some days it may seem like the rewards are paid out automatically, but in reality another nominator has initiated payout before you. To see if there are rewards to claim, hover over Network and click Staking. Now click on Payouts. If you see that there are rewards to be claimed, you can click Payout All. When this screen pops up, click Payout. Now put in your password and click Sign and Submit. You have now successfully paid out all the rewards for the era. Well done. You can go to Subscan to see a detailed review of all your rewards. Just paste your address in the search bar, then you will be directed to this page, where you can view all your rewards history, as well as other details.